I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be making cheesy keto fritters. And the ingredients I'm going to be using is, the recipe calls for two pounds of ground chicken. So since I don't have ground chicken, I have chicken breast, I'm going to ground it up myself. Um, eight ounces of cheese, a half a cup of almond flour, a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic, two teaspoons of parsley, a teaspoon, I got all this mixed together. A teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And you're going to need some olive oil and some butter. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grind up my chicken. Okay, I'm going to put my chicken breast in the blender. And I'm going to pulse it first and then I'm going to go ahead and grind it up. That's the consistency you want it. But I got some more chicken to grind up. Right, the second batch, I'm ready to grind up. All right, once your chicken is grinded up, take it out the um, container, the blender. And make sure you get all of it out. Okay, so now what you want to do is just add all your ingredients to the chicken. Your cheese. Parsley, almond flour, salt, pepper, fresh pepper, and your garlic, and your egg. And you want to mix this all together. But I want to add some onion powder and some garlic powder to mine. I'm veering a little bit off the um, recipe, but you got to make it your own. Some garlic powder. That was onion powder. And some garlic powder. Okay. So you want to use your hands to mix everything together. Mix it real good. And the recipe that I'm using is All Day I Dream About Food. And I'll leave her link down to the recipe in the um, description. This is supposed to make like 24 little small patties. I think it's mixed up good. Then she says use um, two tablespoons of the mixture to form your patties. So I got a tab tablespoon. I mean, I guess you could judge it and roll it. So I'm going to fix all these at, um, at one time. Go up, make them, make the little balls at one time, so I won't have to keep stopping. And I'm gonna put it on my little tray right here. I'm gonna do a couple of more for you. And I'll be back when I'm finished rolling them up. Okay, there you have it. I done made 23 fritters out of that batch. And I'm going to go ready to take it over to the stove and cook them up. Okay, so you want to add some olive oil to your pot, your pan. And you want to add a tablespoon of butter. Then you want to add your patties, your fritters. Then you just want to cook them for about 8 to 10 minutes and maybe like 5 minutes on each side. And um, the temperature needs to be anywhere from... 160 to 165 for them to be done completely. Okay, it's been five minutes, so I'm going to flip them. Now, you got to remember, since it's um, cheese on, it's going to be a little, you got to dig in there and scrape it up. Then 
just let those cook for another five minutes, and I'm going to check the internal temperature. Make sure it's 165. Okay, so it's been a total of 10 minutes, and I checked the internal temperature, and it's 165. So I'm going to take them out the pan. So I've got two more batches to cook. So what you want to do, once you take that out, is scrape all that cheese up and um, cook your, your next round. And there you have it, my cheesy keto chicken fritters. You could eat them with ranch dressing, blue cheese dressing, and I made me some spicy honey mustard sauce to go with these. My spicy honey mustard sauce to go with. I'm going to taste it. In there. Okay, let's go. Mm, that tastes good. That tastes real good. So with this um keto cheesy chicken fritters, I've got three, 23 little patties out of it. I mean, you can also make them bigger if you want. That's up to you. But these fritters are good. Thank y'all for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.